Okay, starting. Fingers crossed, I'm in frame. Another box of uh, sentimental crap from a parent's house, from a parent's basement, from my teenage years. Second generation civilization, a nation that hates its children. With your headphones on and your back to me, in your eyes a reflection of a screen. In the air, no tension, just the echo of a scream. Because I had feelings. Now I've tried to do something more about the lights. What's this? <laughs> um, this is from when I worked at VHQ, and Nick was my best friend. Are we getting a good, good light on that? Yeah, Nick was my best friend. Oh, God. Okay. I, um... Fuck, I hope this is in frame and I hope it's bright enough because, like, this story matters. I got super, super shit-faced. I, I, I can't tell the whole story. I got... went to a friend's wedding in Edmonton. And that's what I was budgeting hotels for. And I got smashed on the way up there. I got smashed at the rehearsal dinner slash decorating party. I got smashed at the wedding. The next day, I was on my way to the Greyhound station again with Andrew... We saw a bar that was open illegally early. And we're like, oh, we got like 20, 20 minutes, maybe an hour before my bus has to leave. And it's right across. It was called the Richelieu. It's not there anymore. They changed names or something. But I was like, yeah, let's stop in, get some eggs, have a drink, and then I'll, I'll be on my merry way. We got in before the jukebox was even on. The first song that got played was Time is on My Side by the Rolling Stones. It was 9.30 in the morning, we were drinking beer and eating eggs, and I didn't get home until 9 o'clock that night, and once we started drinking, we just didn't stop. I remember air guitaring with a pool cue to Avril Lavigne's I'm With You, which I had put on the jukebox, because I loved that song at that time. Red Arrow. <laughs> And yeah, uh, Andrew bought me that ticket to get me home. I don't remember any of it. <laughs>